How's it going guys? John the Basic Expert here and in this video we are going to play some more Strider Mode, the One Ring 2nd Edition. Targon didn't make it, uh, he sadly was slain by orcs. So I've made a new character, uh, we got Arn here, I'll open, up, open this up here. I, I've Based on the stream from a while back I figured out how to make this, uh, this work. So we got... Um, I was able to, to, to fill out the character sheet and we're able to to make this work, I think. So um Yeah, let's let's adventure with Arn here. He is a barding. Um he's supposed to be rich. Uh he's a captain, and you can see his uh, target numbers here, his abilities and his um skills are here as well. So I, I try to like lean a little bit more into some of the traveling and um, like courtesy and, and stuff like that because and persuade because I discovered with Targon is that he was very good at like this stuff over here uh, but not not any of the social skills. So when I was trying to warn the, the town of the coming orc raid, orc and evil men raid, um, nothing nothing worked so uh, I kept failing on my rolls because his skills were just too poor so um, yeah let's let's adventure here uh, we we got his character sheet here I'm glad I got this figured out I'm gonna have him based in Bree and his patron is gonna be Gandalf uh, so we are going to go here let's go to Strider mode I'm gonna load up the PDF here and um, we will start figuring out what this is so let's see here so my my patron is Gandalf the Grey so I'm in Bree I'm gonna say I got a missive uh, a, a message from from Gandalf he wants me to investigate something somehow I'm you know and he's I'm I, obviously I work for me as my patron so I'm gonna roll a d6 we'll see what uh, what we got here so two Carry word of the enemy movements to our trusted ally. Who is this ally and how can they aid us? So let's go. Um, let's go look over here. Um, so who is our ally? So let's zoom out here. Let's look at what's, what's around us. Um, well, I guess we should roll a feet die. And, uh, a one. Okay. Uh, so feet die one. Let's look at their, uh, let's look at their aspect. We'll roll a d6. Two. They're ancient. Hmm. I wonder if it could be Tom Bombadil. That would make sense for, um, being so near the old forest and everything. Um, so let's let's roll another uh, feet die here. Eight. And uh, let's roll a d6. I'm going to go for action. How is he going to aid us? One. Replenish. Um, so he's able to do something to help replenish something. Um, I'm going to roll another feet die. Four. And, uh, we'll go on to focus here. Four. Kindred. He can replenish some kind of kindred something or other. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm going to roll another feet die to, to see if there's anything else we can do. Eight. And we'll do action. Five. Seize. Let's, uh, let's go up to the telling table. And let's, let's see what we got here. I'm going to go with middling. And I'm going to ask... Um, is it is it uh an attempt 
so to replenish and um, enforce is what it was, right? Five, eight, and five. Sees. Um, maybe he sees something. He's he has has he can replenish maybe knowledge and has he uh does, well first of all is it I want to go with likely. We're gonna go. Is it is it Tom Bombadil? No. Okay. Uh, who is it? A is it an elf? That would be the only other way. It'd be a, an ancient person. Mm, no. Okay. Hmm. It's not an elf. It's not. Uh, I mean, Lorien is over there. Is it in Lorien? I'm going to go with uh, Middling. No. Okay. Ancient. Not an elf. Someone at the Grey Havens, maybe. Some some contact there. So middling six or greater, yes. So wow, that's a long travel. It's a long way to go. Um. So I'm here in Bree. I gotta get to the Grey Havens. So. I'm gonna can't seem to make it smaller. Um, I'm gonna close this. So I gotta get to here. Gandalf wants me to get to there and tell someone, um, or 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 get some sort of uh, it can replenish something. Um. <clears throat> Maybe it's just news of the area. Uh, I mean, he's always concerned with um, with with the area here. And this is, I should state the time frame that I'm having this take place. Uh, let's let's go to my uh, twenty nine sixty five, and I'm gonna go with like summer, twenty nine sixty five of the third age summer, and uh, we're going to travel, and I guess we're gonna have to get to the Grey Havens. Uh, let's load the rules here. Is it information? He's looking for maybe good news from the Grey Havens, something or other. I mean, Gandalf doesn't have to tell me what it is. Maybe it's, is it a sealed letter that he's retrieving or that I'm delivering? Is it a letter? Yes. Uh, is, am I going to go with middling? Um, am I picking it up? If it's yes, obviously. If not, I'm, I'm delivering a letter. Always yes with an extreme result or twist. So I think there's some stuff up here. Um, I'm going to go... What's the extreme result or twist? The lore table. So is let's roll uh we'll roll a feet die again. Seven and we'll go with the uh, roll a d6, see what sounds interesting. I'm gonna say it's a plan. That's a that would be a two here. So it's he's He's uh, picking up a letter. Was that what I said? I'm going to say picking up a letter that has to do with some plans of his. Um, so someone here at the Grey Havens. And uh, I'm going to roll again to see if it is an elf or not. I'm going to go with uh, likely, so before or more. It's not. So maybe it's, is it a, a ranger of the north? That maybe he's over there? Yes, so that's a ranger. That would make sense. Okay. 
Uh, the rangers are known for protecting this area, so uh, I have to get over there and uh, we'll figure this out, I guess. Um, all right, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll just start traveling. How far is that here? So I'm there, so it's I'm gonna just travel along the road as much as I can here get to the Great Haven. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 ish uh, distance here. Um, there was a rule about like it should, it, it could be broken up. But I'm going to just, 16 isn't that far. So we're going to do, um, we go on the journey here. So we're going to, we set the journey path. We're going to follow it along. We're going to make the travel, the, mar the marching test. So it's going to be a travel roll. Uh, so let's bring up Arn's sheet here. And we'll roll for travel. We'll try this here. So we'll roll. What do we got? So 15 success, no, no extra bonus successes, but we've beat our target number. Um, so we are able to, to get there. So it takes place at a distance of, of three plus one for every success. I didn't roll any extra successes, didn't roll any sixes. So it's going to be three. So we'll close this. So one, two, three. We get to here <clears throat> and um, let's, let's go to our strider mode rules. And we'll go to adventure phase, journey, solo events. So we should roll feet die. And see what we get here. Nine. Shortcut. If the roll succeeds, reduce the length of the journey by one day. Um, let's roll to see what kind of shortcut thing here is. So I gain a fatigue point. We'll roll a, a success die. Three. Helpful tracks. Awareness to follow the tracks. Uh... So let's bring this up. Awareness. Don't have the best awareness. We'll roll. Automatic success. So we did it. So we we're able to. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it in the tale of years here. I'm going to start writing something here. So I'm going to say. I'm going to say it's uh, June 2965 of the Third Age. Let's just pick a random date, June 5th. Uh, we're going to make it a heading to and... Heading to uh, heading to Grey Havens to deliver a letter to a ranger for Gandalf. I'm going to say that, and then I'm also going to reduce. Say it here reduces reduce. Travel time by one day. Just so that's in chat, and I can remind myself of that. And uh, let's keep going. So, oh, I have to get a fatigue point on myself here. So, fatigue one. 
Well, that's awesome. My uh, endurance is supposed to be at 23. Uh, so I'm already like very encumbered. Mostly it's it's uh, this helm that I'm wearing. And I wonder if I take it off. It doesn't seem to change anything to the, with the fatigue here. Um, wait, does it change when I do that? Load doesn't seem to change. That's interesting. Well, uh, that's going to take some some work there. If I do dropped. Oh, that that'll change it. Okay. So, okay. Just curious how that worked. I'm still trying to figure out how this this uh, module system works and everything. Um we will we'll just keep going, I guess. Um let's let's go up here. We got to do another travel roll. We will roll failure. So failure, so two hexes away because it's summer and spring. So one, two, we're here now. And what is going to happen? So we will go up to this. We will roll feet die. Oh. Gandalf rune. All right. Joyful sighting. If the roll succeeds, gain one hope. So let's go to joyful sighting. I'm going to actually put, where was that? One, two, three. So here, I want to put uh, something here where I'll say, uh, I don't need that. trail that can shorten by one day i'm going to say that that is there i'm going to create that and i want to change it to i don't know what would be good to put there uh i don't know about fire paw print that'll work just so, like, when I run this game later for friends, um, I can put that there, and they can uh, they can determine kind of. Um, uh, you know, I should. I'm going to. I'm gonna delete that. We'll uh, put this there. I'm gonna say shortcut. We will make it into a map note, and add a page. Just in case I come across it later, I can I can have that be there if they ever cross that road again, and we'll go with paw print update. All right. Um, so it was there. All right. Is that supposed to be here? <clears throat> so I rolled a. a Joyful sighting. We got to roll a, a d6 to see what it is. Six. Peaceful sanctuary. A noteworthy encounter. Um. What was the skill? I don't gain any fatigue points from that, thankfully. Um. A noteworthy encounter. Peaceful sanctuary. A noteworthy encounter. Let's see. A noteworthy encounter result on the event. Detail table indicates an event which should not be resolved with a single skill roll. Instead, give, give this event additional focus by treating it as an extended encounter or scene. This scene might incorporate skill rolls, combat, a council, a skill endeavor, as appropriate. You can choose to translate any of the detailed event results into a noteworthy encounter instead of using a single skill test. In this way, you give specific challenge or opportunity more focus uh, more focus if it's interesting or you initially resolving it. For a noteworthy encounter which is not deci decided using single skill rolls, you may need to determine the overall outcome when applying the consequences of your journey event. 
do so, decide if the event ultimately is favorable to your character, which it, it I would assume it is. It's a joyful encounter, a joyful sight. If you managed to overcome a challenge or had an overall positive event, treat it as a success, uh, successful skill roll. If you failed to overcome the challenge or face severe hardship or complications, use the failed result. Um, let's roll a feet die here on the fate fortune table. Nine. So that is you learn or realize something which gives insight into your mission. Let's go up to here. Sorry, here. Um, do I run into some elves or something? I'm going to go with likely. No. Uh, is it, an, is it uh, some halflings? Some hobbits? Men hobbiton. No. Is it some dwarves? Yes. So I run into some dwarves. Um, let's, let's roll... Let's roll what these dwarves are all about. Ten. So we're gonna go to number ten, and we will roll a d6 for aspect. Five. They're wretched. This is supposed to be a joyful sighting. Um, so we'll go with the uphold because that doesn't make any sense. They're there to uphold something for six guides. Maybe that would make sense. So they're guides, and let's. There's a revelation table here. Um, somewhere. I'm assuming maybe I I meet these dwarves. Uh, we they're a company of traveling dwarves. They um. They're quite friendly. Maybe they offer me a drink or something like that. Uh, if we hang out, um, I want to just do a skill check here to see if I can get anything from them. Um, I will go with uh, Persuade to see if I can get them to uh, tell me anything that is relevant to my journey. So great success. I rolled... One one extra bonus success, one six, so that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna roll another feet die on the on the fortune table. Nine. Oh, it's another thing that gives me helpful insight into my whiz, into my my mission. So maybe do they know Gandalf? Let's see, we'll go with middling so six. No, do they know of Gandalf? Go with likely four. No. What is that one? Always no with an extreme twist. Uh, we'll roll a feet die again. Or... Six. <clears throat> Um, maybe they're a little bitter about losing Thorin or something like that from the Battle of Five Armies. So I'm gonna go with Ghastly and maybe Guide, saying he was like, "Oh, he he guided us, but uh, yeah, we know who he is." Um, what is it? How is this relevant to my mission of delivering a letter for him? Five that I gain from these dwarves. Three. Gandalf is looking for something hidden. Um, roll. I want that feet die. Seven. Now we'll roll a success die. No. Success die. One. So. 
10 and 7 and 1. So noble. Hmm. Maybe they know that Gandalf, has, they've heard that he's trying to organize nobles. Maybe they heard it from their own uh, noble class within the dwar their dwarven clans. That he's trying to organize something. Um, but they don't know what. So maybe that's what that this letter is about. It's probably to organize some of the free peoples of Middle-earth to, to do something. So, um... I don't have any lost hope anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's make another travel roll, roll to see if we, uh... can get out of here. Failure, so another two. One, two, here in Hobbiton. What could possibly be bad that happens here in Hobbiton? So let's, let's roll. I guess nothing's out of the question. Despair. Fatigue points gained is two. Oh, we're at three. So we're at one below. I'm already almost... Too tired to keep going here. Uh, so what did I roll? A one. So despair. Let's go to despair table. Terrible misfortune. Where's despair? There it is. Okay. Or fading vigor. So I'm getting hungry in the Shire. Maybe the hobbits still want to feed me. So we got to do hunting. And I saw something here of the hunting target numbers and hunting threshold so we're in borderlands so it's going to be 18 so i'm trying to scavenge for myself here and it's um yeah we're in borderlands so uh it's going to be 18 i'm probably not going to probably not going to find much here so let's Let's roll for hunting. We'll go with the 18. That is a failure. <laughs> All right, so not a good hunter. Uh, consequences if the roll fails gain two shadow points dread so I've gained where's my where do I put shadow points in here hmm goes here so two two shadow points getting fatigued here let's uh let's keep traveling here we'll do another travel roll twenty three great success so twenty three so it's going to be four. So one, two, three, four. We'll go here. And let's see what kind of event we got here. We'll roll our feet die. Three. So ill choices. If the roll fails, gain one shadow point dread. I may gain two more fatigue points. <clears throat> so puts me at five, and I am weary. This is great. Uh so ill choices. If the roll, let's go to ill choices. Where is ill choices? Roll a d six. Five, disorientating environs. Explore to find your way. 
Uh, will I gain a shadow point? I don't think my ex is my explore my explore is not good. So let's see. That and I'm weary, so failure. Ten. <laughs> uh, so we gain another shadow point. How do shadow points work again? The accumulation of shadow points undermines the hope score of the player heroes, weakening their spirit. Heroes are considered miserable as long as their hope score is equal or lower than their current shadow rating. Okay. Not quite there yet. Uh, but I'm probably going to have to think about spending some hope points here to... Um, to... Uh, Get this going so that sucks i uh, i guess we'll do another travel roll and i'm going to use a hope bonus die for this and we'll roll failure so, two. One, two. What, what's happening? This is not going well. And chance meeting. If no roll succeeds, no fatigue is gained. In, if, if the roll succeeds, no fatigue is gained, and you may improvise an encounter favoring your hero. Um... All right, well, <clears throat> so 10, that was chance meeting. So let's go down to chance meeting, see what we got here. Four, noble beast hunting to commune. I'm not much of a hunter. Uh, and we're in this, so it's still going to be 18. So this is, I'm going to use a, Hope bonus die. Roll. 16, failure. Um, dang. So, I gain another fatigue point. It means we're at six. Let's roll another travel. So we can go and I see a noble beast. I try and commune with it and it does not work out for me. So let's let's do a hunting roll. And let's, let's roll. Uh sorry, not hunting. What am I doing? Travel. Uh, so I want to spend a hope point. Current hope is at six. I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna roll. Not not good. Not good. So fail two. So one, two. I'm almost there. Almost there. Let's see what happens here with this. Let's go back up to our journey event uh thing here and um Three ill choices. If the roll fails, gain one shadow point or dread. Okay, this is getting dangerous with the hope there. So three. So what was it? Sorry, three was ill choices. Let's go to ill choices. Roll a d6. Six haunting visions. Awareness to overcome the darkness. I'm going to roll. No. It's so bad. Failure. All right. 
If the roll fails, gain one shadow point or dread, and I gain two fatigue. So we're at four. Four shadow points. And we're at eight fatigue. This is not looking good. I am just beat all heck here uh, as my character is trying to get to the Grey Havens to deliver this letter for Gandalf. <clears throat> um, so let's let's roll again. Uh, let's roll a travel roll again. I probably don't need to, but we'll do it anyways. Failure, so it's within two, so it's like right at the border of, like right as before I get into the Grey Havens, right before I get to them, something, I'm going to say something happens. Let's roll our feet die again, see what we got. <laughs> it's on that Gandalf rune. <laughs> Ten, chance meeting. Um, I gain another fatigue point. Um, we're at nine fatigue. And, uh, so 10, so chance meeting, let's go down to chance meeting, roll a d6, six, all right, uh, auspicious gathering, noteworthy encounter. So again, a noteworthy encounter of some sort. Uh, I'm going to roll a feet die to see like kind of what this would be. Eight. Um, to go to the lore, the lore table here. So table eight. And we'll go with aspect. Six. It's a somber. Somber one. So it's a somber event, a gathering. So maybe some elves are leaving Middle Earth. I'm going to say that. There's some elves, so some somber elves. Uh, leaving Middle Earth. Um, I'm going to cause him to do maybe like a. Uh, let's see. Hmm. We'll go rough. We'll say lore. So he, I mean, he's a barding. Like, does he? This is going to be so alien to him. Does he know what's going on? He probably feels the sense of um, sadness that's happening as the elves are leaving Middle Earth, but he doesn't know uh, exactly like what is happening. Maybe he's heard about this. This is the first for him. Um. So we'll do a, a lore thing. Do a lore roll. Uh, failure. So no no benefit as he maybe discusses with some elves. Let's uh I'm gonna give it three tests. So um let's let's see if I can uh, the, the, so I, I see that the elves are sad. There's a somber feeling to the, like the air. I'm going to maybe try and use and hearten. Um, see if I can talk to the elves and, and learn something here. Failure. No. The elves sort of just ignore me as I go by. And um, yeah, that sucks. I'll, I'll try and do a lot, one last courtesy of like, well, I don't know what's happening, but this is uh, something interesting to see, I guess. All right, so one out of three tests. Because again, you're supposed to do multiple skill tests for these noteworthy encounters, um, and I don't, I don't, I don't think one out of three is enough to warrant me being successful at it. So, uh, I don't, I'm not going to get any benefits. So I arrive at. Um, the place to deliver the letter is is, is the ranger there of, available to me? So actually, let's <clears throat> let's uh, end. It, let's look at ending the journey. Fatigue represents a deeper level of weariness that the player hero accumulates. So let's see. At the end of the journey, player heroes with a mount first reduce their total fatigue by their mount's vigor rating. 
Then all player heroes can go f can further reduce their accumulated fatigue with a roll of travel. A success reduces the total fatigue of a player hero by one, uh, plus one for each success icon. Any remaining fatigue recorded on the character sheets of the affected uh, are any remaining fatigue is recorded on the character sheets of the affected player heroes. They'll get rid of it at the rate of one point of fatigue for each following prolonged rest. Uh, they take in a sheltered and safe refuge, uh, so not on the road. So, well, I'm already uh, fatigued, but we'll do a travel thing here to see if I am able to remove any points of fatigue. Success with 18, so I just remove one point. Um, I'm going to attempt to persuade to see if maybe the elves can allow me to rest here uh, for a time. Um, to see if, if I can rest here and uh, recover my strength uh, for a time before uh, my journey back. Those elves don't like me. Um... Why is it? That's weird. Okay. I want to roll again. I'm just curious. It seems like it's weird. So it's... Okay, so it is taking the, the higher of the two. So, f okay, four, ten. Okay, it makes sense. It seemed like the math wasn't adding up to me. Uh, so I'm not allowed to, to rest here. Like, am I allowed to rest outside of your... Can I camp? Like, you don't have to give me a room, but I'd like to, to rest and recover uh, someplace safe. <laughs> all right well i'm gonna see if i'm just gonna rest outside the gray havens maybe get some hope back and uh, we'll do a prolonged rest here let's uh let's recover two i'm supposed to recover two hope points why didn't that why didn't that go up i think that was supposed to go up right there okay I'm going to pause it there. Um, it's funny how it's all stretched out like that. That's weird. Uh, we'll, we'll pause it there um, for, for Arn here. He's uh, made it. He's delivered the letter. You're, it it kind of says you're not supposed to do anything for the, the journey back. So I, actually, I should probably look at... Um, the collected stuff here. Uh, know some tables here about love, how to level up your character. Where are those at? All right, so. Experience milestones. Let's bring this up here. Uh, let's look at this here. <clears throat> so accept a mission from a from a patron. I get one adventure point. Oh no! I increase this. Does that? Change anything? No. I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, one. So complete. Uh, complete a patron's mission. One adventure point and one skill point. So we'll go with uh, two. Two and one skill point. One and one. Um, fellowship should be that should be at one. Uh, because I spent it to heal. Uh,
We'll participate in a council, survive a dangerous combat, face a revelation episode. I think that's about all I'm going to get. So that's about all that he gets. Um, let's close this and let's look at the fellowship phase. As detailed on page 119 of the One Ring Core rulebook, the lore master would normally determine the number of shadow points to remove during the fellowship phase. As a solo player, you instead decide how many shadow points to remove based on how your actions have impacted the fight against the encroaching shadow. If your uh, actions have at least marginally interfered with the return of the, sh of the shadow, recover one point. If your deeds have actively hindered or damaged the enemy, remove two shadow points. If you committed feats that would gain the attention of the Dark Lord himself, or at least one of his major servants remove three shadow points. So I'd say I marginally um did it did was able to uh to do that to to deal with something like that. So we'll uh we'll remove one shadow point. So what three and um Let's look at the fellowship phase here. I'm kind of curious what my my character can do here. Um, oh, I need to see how many days that that uh, journey took. So it was from three to there. So it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So actually fifteen days. Uh journey took fifteen days. Actually I should I should uh Journey took 15 days. Succeeded in delivering the message to the ranger of the north. Elves would not let me rest at the Grey Havens. We will close that. And so, yeah, I want to look at what my what I can do here. So I could heal scars. That's during Yule. Gather rumors. Um, hmm, I could gather rumors, uh, meet my, I could meet Gandalf, ponder story and figure Matt, raise, recount, strength and fellowship, study magical items, write a song. I'm not much of a singer, what am I, I could write a song, but I don't think I have, I have, don't have, I only have one point in the song. Um... Meet Patron. So, after a few years of adventuring, the company will probably count several of the wise and the great among their allies. Some of these can cho can be chosen as patrons of the company. Choose this undertaking to meet with one of the com company's friends and allies when spending the fellowship phase in, on a, in a location where the individual can be found, and if the patron is available for a meeting. When this, when this is the case, the lore master can work with the player here to set up the encounter. The reason... Reasons t uh, to see a patron vary based on the current circumstances of the campaign. The general revolve around the player hero asking for some sort of assistance, possibly accepting a task requested by the patron in return. The description of the descriptions of the various person person personalities given on page 20, 220, 212 give directions on how to handle their introductions as patrons in the game. I might ponder maps actually. Because until the next fellowship phase, apply a modifier of plus one to all feet die rolls made uh, to determine the nature of events during the, the event resolution step of the journey. So I'm going to choose uh, So I'm going to assume it probably takes about the same amount of time to travel back, 15 days. Uh, fellowship phase is spent pondering maps plus one to 
beat die rolls till next phase. And uh so that was um June fifth. So it took fifteen days. So that was June fifth to June twentieth. Uh, Arrived on June twentieth. So probably left on the twenty first. <clears throat> That would be um, if I left on the twenty first, so that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'd arrive on July fifth back in Bree. Arrived back in Bree on July fifth. July 5th. Took a whole month of an adventure here. It's pretty neat. We'll save. And so then fellowship phase. We'll say uh we'll say it's for like a week. I'm gonna spend a week in Bree, like just pouring over maps. So uh so I get plus one defeat die rolls until the next phase with that. And um that should be that should be uh helpful in my future endeavors here and uh i'm interested to see what what sort of uh adventures gandalf has for me um i'm gonna say within that week my fatigue is gonna go away and uh we are at back at 19 i probably need to figure out like do I want to really have the helm? It gives it adds some extra protection. I thought I'd want it because it adds some extra protection, but man, is it like not kind of difficult. <laughs> um Yeah, we'll have to see. Well, Arn survived more than than Targon did. And I'm interested to see what uh that was all about and i can definitely i want to run this as a campaign for a group of players i could definitely like try and weave this this message that gandalf was sent um into something else as like a broader store uh, adventure or something like that for at the table so quite looking forward to that i hope you guys enjoyed um this video i, I sometimes i worry about my my solo games that they like are not engaging but you guys seem to like them um, but they're like real, you know, I'm really playing and trying to figure stuff out as I'm playing. So hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, if not, sound off in the comments. I'll do less of them. But uh, anyways, guys, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.